Hey guys, what's up? I'm Molly here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be packing. So tomorrow I'm headed out to New Orleans and I'm really excited. I'm leaving for my bachelorette trip, so it's going to be really fun. I don't think I've ever gone on a trip with all my girls, which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, I'm, I'm so pumped for that and I really just need some time to relax and unwind and really enjoy myself because the last year of my life has been really, really hectic and these next couple of months are also going to be really hectic with their wedding coming up. So this is gonna be a nice little getaway for me. I've never been to New Orleans before, but I've always wanted to go because I've heard so many great things. I cannot wait to eat all the good food and jam out to some good music and really just um, chill out. Now I'm going for three nights, four days, but the fourth day is basically us just traveling back. So I'm just gonna say three nights, three days. Um, and I'm going to be packing everything into a carry-on. And for me personally, I overpack a lot because as a content creator, I like to switch up my outfits and pretty much get as many pictures as I possibly can in new areas. So I pack a lot. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I pack everything in just a carry-on because I don't want to be lugging around a big suitcase, especially because I'm only going for three days. So yeah, um, enough of me talking. I'm going to be showing you guys how I pack. So I pretty much have all my stuff here on the floor um, in one big messy pile. And then there's like random stuff over there, which is just stuff I need to organize in my house. But yeah, we are going to pack all of this into a carry-on. Now, if you guys have been following along with my weekly vlogs, you would know recently I went to a Bed Bath & Beyond event and there was a lady there named Ivanka who, um, whose Instagram handle is the Tiny Moose and basically her job is she's just like a professional organizer. I don't know what the real name for it is, but like she's basically like Marie Kondo. And um, she was teaching us like how to pack and how to fold our clothes and basically how to organize our space. So I went out and bought packing cubes and this is the first time I'm ever going to be using them. I'm interested to see how well they work and how much of a difference they actually make because I've never used them before and I don't really know. But she said it was a game changer and she's a professional so I trusted her. I bought these packing cubes on Amazon for about $23 and it comes with nine pieces. Some of them are more like bags and pouches and then some of them are actual like cubes. I was also told that getting the mesh one is a little bit better because it kind of airs things out and doesn't leave your clothes smelling all musty, especially because you're going to be like living out of your suitcase while you're traveling. Um, things can get kind of gross in there. And yeah, so having um, the mesh can kind of ventilate things and make things not as stinky. So first I was told to start off by using the unusable quote unquote space um, that's in your luggage. So that is the space that's between the like spines here that you can't really fit anything into. And if you were to lay stuff on top, like this part of the luggage would be empty space that's not being used. So this is where we're going to be putting our shoes. And I'm just wrapping up my shoes in a plastic bag so that it doesn't get all messy. I'm also going to be putting my straightener into this space here. And I'm also taking some washcloths as well for my face because I um, try my best not to use makeup wipes anymore. I'll pack my socks in here as well next to my straightener and some pads because yeah, girl is on her period, which is so unfortunate. Next, I'm going to be using the medium sized packing cube and I'm going to fold all my tops and dresses into it. When I went to the Bed Bath & Beyond event, Ivanka was teaching us how to fold our shirts. So basically she told us that you want your shirts to look like a square basically, well this isn't a square, it's a rectangle right now, but you wanna turn it into a square eventually. Um, and then you're gonna fold one third in this way and one third in that way. And then you can sit them upright and file them basically. So then you can have all of them lined in a file and it's easy to see what shirt is what and to pull them out as well. I'm just gonna fold mine one more time on the inside so that 
It's a little bit smaller because my clothes are pretty small so I can do that with them. we have all my tops and dresses packed in so here I put all the tops that I would wear during the day and then over here I put um, the tops that I would wear out at night and then my dresses next I'm going to do the same thing using the larger packing cube and I'm going to be packing all of my pants so how she told me to fold my pants was you fold it over once like this and then you tuck in the little part that sticks out. So again, you have more of a square and you fold it over in half and then boom and boom. And that way these can sit up as well. jeans here, my shorts and skirts here. Um, I put my night clothes in here as well, whatever I'd be wearing to sleep. And then there's one more dress that I didn't put in the other bag just because it was really, really thick. Um, so I stuck it in here as well. So I pretty much packed everything into all my packing cubes. Um, this one here has all my bottoms and also my like nightwear, as in like what I'm gonna go to sleep in. Um, this one here has all my tops and dresses, and then this one here has like my bras, bralettes, underwear, nipple covers, all that undergarment stuff. By packing this way, I was able to fit seven pants, um, one hoodie. Uh, 15 like top slash dresses and then all my undergarments in here which I packed a lot because again I mentioned I'm on my period so I just packed a whole lot extra this is like absolutely insane I would never have been able to fit this much in my luggage before it that's for sure I have taken this luggage before to Montreal and I definitely did not take this many clothes. Now it's time to pack everything into the bag. I also added in an extra pair of flats um, just because they don't take up a lot of space and I thought they might look cute with one of my outfits. So I'm gonna start off with this side here. I'm going to put in my pants. Um, and then I'm also going to put in my skincare because it fits so nicely here and a small little clutch that I plan on taking for our nights out. So that here is done. I'm going to zip that up. And then on this side, I'm going to pack my shirts here and my undergarments here. So I put my shirts on the opposite side of where my pants are just so that it doesn't feel super chunky on both sides and it closes a little bit easier. You kind of have to play like Tetris with this um, just to make sure everything kind of fits in nicely and closes properly. And I'm gonna buckle this up just so that everything kind of stays nice and tight within and doesn't move around when I'm trying to close it. And then we are going to close it. So we got this luggage all packed up. I can't believe I fit this much stuff into it. This is like actually crazy. And I know some of you guys might be wondering where my makeup and stuff like that is. So I bought this like really nice big purse from H&M. It was only like 35 bucks or something like that. Um, it's really like nice and spacious. It fit my laptop, my jewelry, my makeup case with everything in it. And I will do a separate video of um, what I take when I travel in terms of makeup. Uh, I fit my hard drive, my camera gear, like my tripod, my extra batteries and all that good stuff. Um, so, I mean, I don't really recommend doing this, but I didn't really want to take so many bags uh, because this does get very, very heavy, especially with like the makeup and stuff in there and the laptop. But I mean, I'm only going to be carrying it around at the airport, so I'm not too fussed. It's just going to be heavy for a little bit. 
I'll also be taking a leather jacket with me too just in case if it gets chilly. Um, I didn't pack that into the suitcase because it's more bigger and it just takes up way too much space. So chunkier items like that, like jackets, scarves, hoodies, um, I would just wear onto the plane because first of all, it's always cold on the plane. I don't know if that's just me, but I always feel cold on the plane. So you're probably gonna be reaching for those type of things anyways. You might as well just wear it onto the plane. And that way it just doesn't take up a lot of space in your suitcase. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed packing with me. I'm so excited to go to New Orleans tomorrow. You have no idea. And also stay tuned for my New Orleans vlog because you know I will be vlogging all of this. And as always, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you constantly show me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.